Corn School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Headline Amp Fungicide and Pride Seeds. Bernard Tobin on the Corn School. We're at Ridgetown College in the plots talking with Albert Tanuna. Albert, how's it going? Excellent. Yourself? I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm doing all right. Hey, we're always wondering about new diseases, things like tar spot and where they're coming from and when they arrive. But we've got something here you've been talking about for many years, northern corn leaf blight. Tell us about 2021. This yeah. is a new year and... Yeah. So, yeah, I think, you know, we know the weather's been favorable for diseases, right? And we get lots of calls on that. And you're right. We worry about the new sexy things in a lot of cases, and I'm not one of them. And uh, and so, but northern corn leaf blight, that's one we've always had. We have had a long history of northern corn leaf blight. And please, please, please don't forget about it. It's here, it's always gonna be here. So where we are, you mentioned we're at Ridgetown here, we're in our, our northern corn leaf blight fungicide trial here. And you can see, we're seeing, oh, this is spectacular symptoms, eh man? Look at them, They're they're going from, Early on, you're just starting to see the beginning of symptoms on these, these elongated cigar-shaped um, lesions to much larger expanding ones. You know, in many cases, you'll see them across the leaf. And in many times, that is where the leaf is um, curled and where the moisture stays the longest and, and that as well. But, you know, you can see we've got great take here. Yeah. Now, how fast can this disease advance in these conditions this year, Albert? Yeah, so these conditions. So. I'm uncomfortable, you're already sweating, and it's what, 10 o'clock in the morning? Those are ideal conditions if you're a fungus, man. And they're, they're, they're gonna, they love it, and they thrive under it. Um, and in many cases, those extreme wet conditions we've had stresses the plant, that can also stress the plant's defenses as well. So in many cases, we can find more, more susceptibility in the crop as well. So yeah. stress can increase disease as well. What type of yield impact could we have in a difficult year like this? Yeah, so in our trials here, we've seen where the disease progresses um, and, and that we've seen anywhere up to 50 to 60 bushels or more. Mm -hmm. And But for most growers, you know, if you're looking at a five to 10 to 15 um, bushel yield hit, that's pretty significant, especially with good corn prices and that as well. But remember, your hybrid. Remember your hybrid, remember the ratings. We have different races. We're also doing work with Agriculture Agri-Food Canada out of Ottawa at the Grain Farmers Ontario, looking at the different races of northern corn leaf blight and also assessing different resistance genes as well so they can be incorporated. So as with anything, you know, northern corn leaf blight is here, it continues to change, it will impact our management. Yeah, and we've got a, a high yield potential crop here this year. And that late season plant health is so important to keep that engine running, um, Albert. What do we do from a fungicide perspective, from uh, you know a management perspective, any tips there? Yeah, so we have, the good news there is that, you know, a lot of the fungicides we have available are really good on northern corn leaf blight. And so again, so the choice, we have a lot of choices. Um, the timing is important, right? So, you know, in here we are getting at tassel, gonna be tassel probably in the next week or so. So we're getting into that fungicide application time. And so you're right, that stay green, that ability to keep it, keep the factory moving is critically important to fill that grain period. And if these wet conditions and stress conditions um, continue that longevity or keeping that plant healthy as long as possible will be important to getting maximized yields as well. So get out, scout, see what type of pressure you have and make a decision. Yeah. Absolutely. And remember your risks, right? What have you, what fields are most risk? Target those ones first, but get out there. It might be wet. You might need your hip waders, but get out there and scout. Final question for you. Talk about risk. What are those risk factors? Help growers do, do their risk assessment. Yeah, so we already talked about hybrids as one. That's always start with your hybrids. So is it a more susceptible, more tolerant one? Corn on corn, so rotation. Um, tillage, you know, that field history as well. And, and those, those are some of the most important factors to consider. <laughs>